2021. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. For starters, my beard is a mess. It needs a trim. It needs some finagling, maybe some oils or something like that. And with that, today's video is going to be about a specific product that I ordered a few weeks back. And with that, we're going to be taking a look at some products from Beard Brand. Now, I've been following these guys for probably about four to six months, give or take. They are on a bit more pricier side of things, but with price does come quality. So for starters, at first I went on their website to beardbrand.com and I noticed that they had a few different quizzes to tell you what your beard style was, what fragrance you might possibly like, and a bunch of other things. So after I took this quiz, it was recommended to me to try out Temple Smoke. So that's what I did. And I got some beard oil, some utility balm, styling balm, a whole bunch of stuff in Temple Smoke. So I also wanted to give a try all their other scents. So I actually ordered a variety pack of all the scents. First we got Spice Citrus, which smells kind of like an orange in a way. Next up is Temple Smoke, which smells like, kind of like a, a nice campfire in a way. I don't know if that's the best way to describe that, but it is what it is. Next up we got Old Money, which has like a, a sweet, it almost reminds me of like a sweet vanilla smell. And then after that, we got some Tree Ranger. Which again, kind of smells similar to the spice citrus, but not exactly. And then we got Tea Tree. Ooh. That's like a, that's like a sweeter. It almost smells kind of sweet. So after doing literally what I just did, smelling all the products and kind of seeing what was my favorite, that day I actually placed an order for an entire bottle of the Four Vices. And I'm not gonna lie, this bottle does look small. It is only one ounce, but I can promise you that this little bottle right here will last approximately four to six months, depending how you use it. Now, I haven't done anything to my beard yet this morning. I did take a shower, but I didn't comb this or do anything. No products are in here. So let me take you guys downstairs and show you my daily routine on how I get my beard ready for the day. So the first thing I like to do is grab a comb and I actually start underneath my neck and comb upwards and get all that hair that's underneath to kind of flow up in my beard a little bit more. It's gonna look extremely, extremely puffy and over exaggerated like how it is right now. And then I'll take the comb, go the opposite direction to kind of pull all that hair back down and get any tangles out at first. I also do my mustache a little bit if I can, if it's a little crazy here and there, like I know sometimes it is in the morning. And then after I'm done combing it, I will typically go to a beard oil, whatever scent I decide to use, unscrew the cap. And I like to just tap the back here maybe four, five, six times, give or take, enough to get my entire hand kind of all oily. Rub it in both hands and then stud it underneath and come up into my face, kind of like I did before with the comb. And like I said, you're gonna see it is going to look absolutely crazy and puffy right now. So after you go up into your face a lot, I like to take both my hands and just kind of feel the edge of my face, do that a bunch of times, and then my beard starts to shape up as it should. And then once I'm done with the oil, I'll put this back, then I'd be going into the utility bomb and simply unscrew that cap. I like to just kind of dig my finger in, get a little bit, not too much, about, about that size. And then with my other index finger, 
kind of rub it in and then start spreading it all over my hands. And then exactly the same way that I do with the oil and the spray, I'm gonna start coming up through my neck into my face. Get that mustache as well. Come out with that. And then final step is start shaping it up like I did before. I generally like to go back over it one more time with the comb that way if anything is getting tangled up like I can kind of feel it a little bit. Um, it can kind of separate a little bit. Now the last thing I like to do, I know some people will leave it just as it is, but I typically like to go back through one last time with a comb and come up with it again and then bring it on back down. Do the mustache, make sure there's no stragglers. And if there are stragglers, I do have a scissors handy with me that I'll just get a tweezers, pull it out, cut that one off and continue on. Now from what I read up on, there's not really a specific amount of how much to put in your beard and how much not to put in your beard. But for me personally, I like to get enough product into my beard that it feels moisturized, it feels nice and kind of like that silky smooth feeling because I know when I first started growing my beard, it was super itchy, super uncomfortable and I think that's why a lot of people out there are like, yeah, I don't really like the beard because growing it is it's itchy, it's irritating and things like that. My advice to you is hang on, it's going to take some time, but try to get some products into your beard, whether it's oil, balm, whatever it might be, and eventually your beard will start to grow. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys would like to go check out more Beard Brands products, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. Check out the website. They also have three different quizzes that you can take on their website to determine what type of beard style you have, what fragrance you might like, and things like that. One other interesting thing that I thought was cool on their website is that they have a glossary of all the ingredients that they use in all their products. That way you can kind of see what they're using and what benefits it has to the product and to your health. So as always, hit that like button, comment if you guys use these products, and as always, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and healthy, my friends.